we restarted. Uh, our character is better, so... Uh, let's hope so. <laughs> uh, let's hope so. Uh, we realized we made absolutely no progress. No, we, we didn't. I, I knew all along that we should be listening to the people and doing things. Sure you did. You're the one that wanted to go commando. I don't believe you. Uh, they all, they've uh, all heard and seen. Uh, uh, duh. I uh, don't know your mother. Uh, we also know that there is no running in this game. Ah, yes. So no running. We're going to take it slow. We're going to enjoy our time. And uh, we're not going to get drunk <laughs> like in the last yeah, profile. Yeah, thank you. I can't believe you wanted us to. I t- I'm not the one who wanted to. You, were you like the, did. You were like the little devil on my shoulder. I like, was yes. not the little devil. Take it all. <laughs> drink it no. all. It could be no. fun. Okay, I suggested selling it, not drinking it. I'll ask around and see who can find it. All right, now we're going to go find Sonny because I... What's going on? It's Sunny. Sunny. I haven't Thank talked to her yet. Why did you freaking... You just interrupted me. <laughs> <laughs> are you glitching? No, nah, I'm doing that on purpose because I'm cool. Are you now? I am. You want my you want my proof? Yeah. You want to see my cool card? Yes. Yes, I do. Well, too bad. Uh huh. Because <laughs> you don't have one. Is Sunny in the general store? Where is Sunny? That's a sad bedroom. That's a bedroom. Yeah. Ew. Ew. Poor I couldn't people. live in this world. What? But what if you had to? Because these people have to, Mom. It's not a choice for them. Gosh. Don't be sassy with me. You freaking suburbanite. Where's my I AC? don't live in the suburbs. I live out in the country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We found Sunny. Uh, I'm going to help Ringo take on the powder gangers. I might need your help. Say no more. I'm in. Hooray. Well, that was easy. Push his well, button. Well, l- luckily, she didn't tell you to kiss off because you were so rude the last time. I'd let her kiss me off on my awesome adventure. No, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. Who's Trudy? Okay, so basically talk to everyone. You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives before he handed it over. I do. I blew up my house when I was trying to make something in the <laughs> oven. And I put a little bit too much gunpowder in there and uh, blew yeah. right up. Uh-huh. It's into like, another state. It's like that time you put the entire like silverware drawer in the microwave just to see I what would happen. I didn't do that. Why do you do that? Nobody believes you when you say these things. They know that I'm a rather intelligent <laughs> woman who cares about her family. So I they know I'm not going to do that. I don't expect people to believe it. They know I'm lying. They know you're a liar? Yeah. That's not good. Off the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wildlife. Yep, we did. <laughs> we sure did. Big ants, big scorpions. Yeah, everything's big. Okay, here we go. Okay, first up, our epic is adventure. Trudy, here she is. Morning. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang? It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. Uh, gosh dang, there's so many choices. Holy crud! I'll do this one. I was planning on sitting this one out, but for some reason. I can't help but like you. I'm with you. Ooh. She likes my bulging Hers. biceps. Good with the ladies. Uh, yes. Why don't you ask her about the robot saving you so okay, we know what's going we'll talk on? talk to Trudy. Good night. You want to know about the robot? Fine. We'll learn about the robot. Well, I think you need to know. I know that thing as much as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. That's it? What does he actually do around here? You don't like him? How long has he been in Good Springs? Never mind, let's talk about something else. What do you want to ask? Since you're so curious. What does he actually do around here? Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd be careful. It's never helped anyone before. You don't like him? It acts friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act. I find it all very creepy. I find you creepy, so... <laughs> How long has it been in good... In it was here when I took over the saloon seven years ago. Some people have said its owner lived here, but no one knows who it was. Let me shoot the dog. No! Okay. You shoot... Uh, mm. <laughs> you make it difficult Easy, to Pete! Here. Did he just melt into the door? No, he just walked in. Okay. I hear you got dynamite. I'll bet it will help us beat the powder gangers. I'm gonna kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. Yeah, we gotta convince him we know how to use explosives. 
I thought we had to let him know we knew how to use explosives. That's what I just said. Oh. Chet runs the general store. Well, let's go find us Chet. We're going to go find Chet. Uh, bend him over and spank his booty cheeks. No, Till okay. he gives us what we want. So I went to high school with a guy named Chet. And he assisted me in one of my biggest and best pranks. It's when you robbed the bank, right? No. It's when I told my friend Ted he oh. needed to lock his car doors when he was not in his vehicle. I remember this one. And he laughed at me. So I put a pantyhose over my head. <laughs> I got a fake gun. And Chet helped me get into the car. Well, Chet, no, actually, Chet, Chet had the pantyhose Chet on so his head. Yeah. He had the gun. He was sitting behind Ted in the floorboard in the back seat. And I was in the hatchback. And Janine was with us. She was in the back seat. Anyway, Ted gets in the car. And Chet puts the gun in his ribs and says, don't move. Well, Ted <laughs> freaked so out. So cruel. He freaked out. He's like, horrible thing. man, man, well, I'll do anything you say. Just don't, just don't shoot me. Please don't shoot me. Well, I can't not laugh. So I started chuckling. And he's like, Tess, Tess, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> so I confessed it was me. It was my harebrained idea. We leave. I get home, my dad's waiting for me. I walk in, he's like, were you pranking someone tonight? And I'm like, oh no. He said, Ted's mother called me and wanted to know what was going on. And I said, well, he's the one who made me go to that Ross Manor where they said people died in the, you know, um, The Shining? Yeah. Red room, red room? Yeah. Okay, well, they had painted a room in the basement red. And pe they would take people there to scare them. I wouldn't even get out of the car. So me and Ted's young sister, Terry, are sitting in the car, and we're lookouts in case anybody comes. Mm -hmm. Well, we see this old man walking up the driveway, and, I mean, he was creepy. And so we turned and looked at the house to see where they were, and then we turned back, and his face was pressed up against the window. <laughs> oh, my God. And it was Ted's older brother, dressed up like the old man, scared me to it's death. I was so mad. So I had to get Ted back. I see. It was the only reasonable thing to do quote unquote reasonable well he never messed with me again after that so i would say i was the vic the victor must have worked then it did funny 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 do anything funny 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 chet funny is this chet yes all right well we failed so we're gonna suck at this we can't we need a smarter dude Okay, we might be able to go do something else and then level up our charisma later. Yeah, we need to be very charismatic. Okay, we can talk to Doc Mitchell. Okay. See if we can get him. Now, he's the guy that patched you up, right? Yeah, I'm glad All you right. said that because I had no idea who I was going to go look for. Because I'm a okay. bit dumb. Well, a bit. My brain don't work. It got shot up by a little mouse with the Tommy gun. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I'll make your brain look like cheese. Wait, 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 wait. What's that? Battery. Oh. For the light. Oh, okay. It's pretty obvious. <laughs> well, I didn't want it to be a bomb or something. <laughs> no, the bombs are later. Really? Yeah, there's landmines and such. Oh, great. Look. Chemicals. Chemistry. We have so much chemistry, Doc. Join us. Welcome. Thanks, Doc. You're a real upstanding gent. As Clarence from the hit TV show Clarence said... It's worth it. It's worth it. Okay, so talking to Easy Pete to get the dynamite. Is that the gas station? Yeah. That he, looks like a, it's out of cars. It does. This is where Flo r works. Yes. Yeah. So the dynamite and Chet are optional. The only one we really need to talk to is Sunny. So what's going on? Did Sunny agree to help us? She sure did. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. I can shoot you in the head. <laughs> let's do this. I guess let's do this. All right, I'm ready. I hope we're not doing something that we're supposed to be doing later. Time to look alive. The powder gangers are here to play. Uh-oh. This is going to get bumpy. They're going to get bloody. All right. How many are there? At least six. Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. That's just not nice. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. All right, we're going to go ahead and save. Okay. Because <laughs> you never know. You just never know. All right. 
Let's go. Our little... Little band of thugs. Why are they running and I can't? That's just discrimination. I don't know what... Well, you're keeping up okay for a minute. No, I'm not. Run. Look how fast they are. They're like Sonic the Hedgehog and Shadow, and I'm just a measly uh, Big the Cat. 